All right, everyone, we are focusing on our goal setting and how we are going to use that within this accelerated program and how you guys are going to succeed uh, in figuring out your goals and what you can do in music. So basically, I have a thing. It's a very common term. Shoot for the stars, land on the moon. Now, pick your goal that you want to go for. It can be as big as you want. Um, do whatever you want to do. The bigger the goal, the even the better because you start to build infrastructure in your mind towards like, this is the crazy thing I want to do. And then I'm going to do the little steps in time. So you have long-term mindset, mindset, and you, so we call it macro, micro. Um, so macro is the big dream and micro is the little steps that you're taking every day to get there. Me, I want to write a hit song. Um, so basically I'm like, all right, I need to build an infrastructure where I can, uh, so here I am. Uh, I need to write a hit song. This is me. So this is a breakdown of my goal. I'm going to write a hit song. And now how, what are the micro steps involved into writing a hit song? Um, I believe there's three. There's you need money. Uh, you need a community that is going to back your song. And then three, you need a good song. So you can have a good song, no community, no money. That song usually dies. Um, you can have a good community, good song, no money. That song usually doesn't become a hit. Uh, it can be a good song but it will not be a hit. Uh, you can have money and community and a shit song, still doesn't really become a hit, but it can get pretty far. Uh, but you have all three. You are smashing the goals. So for me, I just need to get to a place where first things first, I need to be able to support my family and I need to be able to earn while I learn. That is my thing. So if I can write songs and be earning money, I have already won the game. So. I can literally just do that for 10 years and I will hit the goal of hit song. Seriously, if I like that's that's how I see this. If I'm sitting there like, can I earn enough money so I can learn new skills every single day and create a feedback loop for myself that is executing every single day, I will win. I just I just know that it's just you just can't through the inputs fail. I just would be writing every day, performing every day, engaging in my community every day, working really hard. You guys would see how hard I work. We will have heaps of fun while doing it. I will help you guys win too. So there will be the guilt factor that once I make a bunch of other people really, really good, they're going to be like, oh, Luan released this song. This is me. I'm like, my absolute worst case scenario is I give you guys so much value, so, so, so much value that the when I release a song, it might not even be like a hit song. It could be like a good song not like a whoa song I, it could be like a good song that you guys would be like i'll stream that every day let's put it on and you guys just stream it on repeat you know like you will have like we'll have like listening like streaming goals and we'll have the community be like ninjas let's go like an army but you know that's like worst case scenario i will want to write the great song though but that's what I mean. So that's me breaking down my goal. So I do the micro steps. So I'm building a business that will make me money. Um, that's what the accelerated community is. That's the first step. Then we'll have the stream that will generate money. Then we have YouTube generate money. Uh, and then eventually I will write songs and they will generate money. Um, and all those things will help build a team that will help build me an infrastructure that will help me get outside lessons that will help me learn more because I can go and reach out to really great artists. and I can reach out to really great guitarists and songwriters and I can learn from them and then their knowledge feeds back into the community, more value, more growth. It works like that. So macro goal, write a hit song. Micro goal, I have all my steps that I'm taking every single day to do this. This is what this video is. That's why I'm motivated to do it. Every time I post a video on school or anything, I'm like, this video is getting me one step closer to me writing a hit song. And so that is how you can build drive and that's how you can build like really, really uh, healthy approach to whatever goal you have. My goal is fucking huge. I will like, I say this, it's fucking, fucking massive. Like to write a billboard hit, you got to be like 0.1% of the community of musicians in the world. Like it is so hard to do. So to get that goal, you got to work really, really hard and you got to have a really fucking good strategy. You can't just like casually just go out there and do, oh, it's going to work out, you know? No, like the, and it's not about like, can I get one song? You know, one song's not going to cut it. Like it's going to be how many can you, like, can you, can you have a hit song performance? Like, can you do that? It's like, not, not can you win the championship, but can you do a championship performance? Like, can you get out there and, and bring it your, your A game? And is your A game every day 
at a very high level. And that's where I kind of want to be at. I want to be a like super high level musician, but that's me. So when it comes to goal setting, shoot for the stars, land on the moon. Obviously, I'm not going to get there right away. Uh, it's not going to take a year, but it might take 10. Uh, could take 15, could take 20, I don't know. Um, but I know that if I try every single day, it'll be an interesting uh, landscape in, in years because the, the feedback loop is quite fast and the growth is, is a lot faster when you're thinking that way. So basically, when you go to pick a goal, um, obviously mine's huge, but you guys can pick whatever goal you have. It can be as simple as like... Um, like, for instance, my goal for the very first month of the Accelerated course is going to be I want to play Little Wing by Stevie Ray Vaughan. Little Wing, he does a cover of uh, Jimi Hendrix's Little Wing, and it's a song I've always wanted to play. Um, it's a, like, it 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 just, I just love it. Um, so that will be my goal. Um, I will be like, okay, I'm going to, so say you just pick a song that you want to play, you want to write a song, whatever your goal is. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the steps every day to do it. So what makes a goal really, really good is it needs to have like kind of four things that I've kind of broken down for me that make a goal really, really healthy, especially in music. One, it has to be something that makes you want to practice. Don't pick a goal that other people tell you to do. Like writing a hit song is not because someone told me, oh, you're not good unless you write a hit song. Writing a hit song is just something I've always wanted to do. I wanted to write, I want to be at the level where I could influence, um, you know, make someone feel good. And like I could use my creativity in my understanding of harmony, melody, lyrics, uh, and create a feeling that moves someone and makes someone feel good um, or sad or whatever. Just I can create an emotional response. I reckon that's a crazy level of power um, that people can have and, uh, and, it, and it changes lives. And so that's kind of for me, like what's the pinnacle? And like, that's, that's what I think is. So it makes it really easy to do the hard things because uh, it's a really exciting goal. It's like an exciting thing that you would want to work towards. Me playing Little Wing by Stevie Ray Vaughan would be super exciting because I just love the song. So pick something that you get that gets you excited. It can be wild as hell. Like I don't care if you're a beginner and you're like, I want to play Playing God by, you know, uh, freaking, what's the band called? Uh, ah, I always forget the name. Anyway, Playing God, the super cool one that Tim Henson plays. I always, why, how do I forget their name? Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. But, you know, you pick your goal and it makes you want to practice every day. Now, the next thing is you need to make sure that you learn something with every every single step. It could be a really hard goal, but every step that you take you can learn a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. Even if it's a technically challenging piece, um, you know, Polyphia, that's the band. If it's a, if it's a technically challenging piece, uh, you will get a little bit of skill. Like I already know the first roadblock just off the top of my head for Little Wing is going to be the opening hammer-on uh, line that he does. It's going to be like this, blah, 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 and I'm like, I already don't have the technical facility to handle that. Um, so that's going to be a hurdle, but every day that I would practice it, my hands will get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger, and then I'll just get better and better and better and better. There you go. Um, the third thing that makes a goal really, really good is it's not easy. Don't pick something that's easy. Um, if it's something that's easy, just like literally be like, Hey, today I want an easy win. Go and play Brown Eyed Girl. Go and play like, like for, so an easy win for me would be like, I need an easy win. I'm going to go learn Brown Eyed Girl, or I'm going to go and learn chicken fried or like i already know the songs but i'm saying like an easy ass song like a song that from within my skill set won't like it will take me like five minutes and i'll be like oh well, that was easy um but that's not going to grow me as a musician it's going to grow my repertoire but it's not going to push my limits um and so that's not a really healthy goal to promote growth um uh and the reason why you don't want it to be easy is because coming to my fourth point is it you need something that creates delayed gratification you want something that is hard enough that if you work hard enough at it it will in the span of like a week a month it or a year it will just like really you will be like i did that you know that's a feeling that doesn't go away for a long time you know you could get instant gratification where you like oh 
I do like a, the easy thing and then I feel like the the hits that you get that dopamine hit. But this is like the serotonin thing of like long term gratification, which is like very, very hard to build. Um, and if you can start building that skill set really early, it transfers into many areas of your life and uh, will actually change the way you approach everything. Um, and it is it is 100 percent the ingredient for a winner. So if you want to be a winner on the instrument, winner in your music, winner in songwriting, winner in whatever you want to do, you do not want to pick out, you don't want to go for the low-hanging fruit. The low-hanging fruit is not where the wins are. That's the instant gratification. That's where everyone else is going to go. Everyone else is going to go and play the easy stuff. Everyone else is going to do the, the simple things. We're here to build skill. We're here to build grit. We're here to build um, the that ability to grind and really try. Because then if you've got that, there is no stopping you. You will just absolutely demolish and you will grow at a at a rate that just other people will be like, what? No, the other day he was like this and how how are they there now? Like, this doesn't make sense. Like, I've been doing this for like three years and why are they doing this? Like, why are they? No, this is not fair. They like literally say, they will say, this is not fair. Crazy, right? But... It's just a mindset shift. So when it comes to goal setting and figuring out what you want to do, that's my best advice when it comes to setting your goals up for the uh, accelerated course. And I know it's a lot of information. I know you guys have been watching these videos and um, and I ramble on, but I want you guys to really understand like this stuff will help you. Um, and hopefully this 15 or 11 minutes. Oh, cool. I did pretty good on this one. Hell yeah. Um, hopefully this helps you. And um, makes you understand how I want you guys to approach your goal setting uh, for each month and how we're going to approach this uh, accelerated course. So can't wait to see you guys in the comments. Can't wait to see you guys in the course. Absolutely slaying, posting, hey, I'm going to achieve this and watching you guys take a step each day towards it. I Like I said, I'm I'm setting the bar super, stupid, super high of like, I'm going to do this like stupidly hard thing to do watch me do it. And you guys are going to watch me every single day do it. Um, and everyone else, I encourage you guys, pick what's a stupid hard thing for you to do and start working towards it. Um, and we can have our micro like wins are there. Like I said, I'm going to learn little wing. That's going to be my fun thing to do. But that's for the community. That's for the accelerated course community. I'll be learning all my guitar stuff. That's why I'm using this course as kind of like my accountability to learn the guitar stuff that I haven't learned and I've always wanted to learn. Um, but that's just for the community outside of the accelerated course i'm working on writing a hit song like that's that's my goal that i'm doing whatever it fucking takes to get there so we're going to be going on that grind and making it happen so um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video let's do this